Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Uh, what's going to happen today is the Queen Jolene sparkles, my sexy, um, the welding machine, Jolene, is going to help today. She's going to jump in on the video and weld up the piece that we stuck in there yesterday. That's what she's going to do. Uh, the reason being is I can do something else while she's doing that. Uh, we've been doing a lot of other things than just working on vehicles. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the wheel opening on this bad boy. And what I can see here uh, on this picture or on this concept or this doodle bug or whatever you want to call it, I can see the wheel opening on it. And it follows pretty well the wheel of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bend some square stock, try to get some square stock bent so I can get it to go around the wheel. Jolene will be welding up that piece there. I'll try to keep the conversation going so it's, you know, it's just not us just working, but uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, I have a piece of tape here in my hand and I'm going to, I showed you before, but I'm going to show you again how I measure things that are round. I will take the piece of tape. I'll put it down here on where I think the, the, the square stock's gonna go, excuse me. I'm gonna round it around the wheel to about, you know, say yay. And basically that just tells me the length of the square stock that I need bent. That's basically tells me, because I've wrapped it around here, where I think I'm going, down around there to where I think I'm going. That's basically somewhere where I think I need. I'm gonna take a tape measure and measure that for a second. I know the pieces I have over there are seven and a half. Just gonna check it for a minute. Just gonna check it for a minute. Also, uh, on this video, I think Jolene is going to try, you're gonna to try to insert that other um, Sunday fun day video. We're gonna see what happens because it's, anytime you, this is what happens when, when Jolene makes videos. Anytime she goes, focuses in or focuses out or transfers something in or tries to whatever, it makes the video take longer to load, does it not? Yeah. Yeah. So when she's showing you the upshot of the welds, sometimes it's hard to get that video loaded before the end of the day to get you to see it. Um, when you go in and out, it, it just makes it take longer to load. I have a piece of square stock here. It's inch, and we're eight feet. We're eight feet. Let's let's. Ho I'm hoping this is four, and that way there I could get two out of one. Mm, a little bit longer than four. Poopy. Anyways, well, I'm going to take this and put it in the roller and start rocking and rolling with it. I'll get a wrench for the top. Um, there's a little insert that Jolene was going to show you what this started out as and what we were going to use it for. It's funny. It's, it's funny to think that it's been this much time and now we're at it. And uh, now that we're at it, I'm, I'm thinking the exact same thing I thought when we first started it. Uh, we thought that this would make a pretty cool Bugatti hauler. So where Jolene's car is starting to, uh, if the engine starts running and all that sort of stuff, we're, we're going to have to go on that because that's what we're going to want to do. When the engine starts rocking and rolling, I can start it up and uh, do it a few times and, and make sure it's working good. Um, the body of the car will be painted and then put onto the chassis. Uh, when we first started this and I first started cutting this camper apart, that was what we were going to use it for. I know that's kind of, it's kind of... What can I say? It's full circle, actually, to think that we were going to use this for a Bugatti hauler. I forgot all about it, but when we looked at the video, it was five years ago, was it not? Yeah. Um, so anyways, she might try to insert that in um, today's video, maybe. All right, so basically, I'm also well let Jolene go to the welding, and uh, I'm going to try to get this piece of square stock into something round that goes over the wheel. Stick with us on this build. And the reason being is it will not take long and things will start to take shape. If you think that it's going to take a bunch of time um, to build this, um, I'm thinking that, that, I'm not sure, the 30 day thing would be, would be pretty cool to be able to see what it looks like in 30 days. Uh, stick with us. 
So what I'm going to do is I got a roller here. This is just a Princess Auto roller. If this goes really hard, I'll probably try to gear maybe a socket up on the end of this or a nut on the end of this and use a, uh, a ratchet of some sort to, to get it rock and rolling and make it easier. Um, the air intake, maybe the air impact, maybe I'll put that on the end of it. Maybe I can roll it through quicker. But uh, I'm going to make a wheel opening, get one done, and then see what it looks like. Um, Jolene's going to go welding. Stick with us. Let's do it. Remember I said Jolene wears Daisy Dukes? They're there. We'll see how we make out. What's that? I'll see how they make out welding. If you get burnt, it'll just be... be you get burnt. That's, how, that's what happens when you weld, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter if you have pants on or if you don't have pants on. You generally get burnt. So I'm going to do the best I can to get this. It's rolling through pretty easy. We went to a car show this morning uh, to support the Avon View football team. Uh, yep. Yeah. High school football. High school football. Met a lot of good people there this morning. You would have liked it. There was a Mustang there, 65 Mustang, I think it was, with a with an LS in it. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's even hard to turn. It would be nice to have something that you would just click a button and and roll. A bunch of these, but I do not have that. And this is inch square stock. I'm not sure what gauge it would be, but it's bigger than eight, three six, three sixteenths maybe, quarter. It's going to take me a while. Got gas on, sweetheart? Huh? I was thinking using smaller square stock, but... I really want a... And something nice and strong over top of the wheel. I was thinking using three-quarter inch square stock. By, I'm not sure what the thickness of it is. I could bend that a lot easier, and then I could put a, a plate on it, like a piece of plate that'd be wider, but that'd be a lot of welding too. So, just kind of half a dozen one the other. We'll go with this, see what it takes. See what it takes, and then and then go from there. See what it takes, and go from there. Be nice to get two out of this, but I'm not going to. The reason I know I'm not going to is because of the measurement. Let's see what happens. But the piece that I roll that I cut off, it may be I'll be used for the going around the corner. So it's going to be a lot of pipe rolling or rolling it's going to be yeah be nice to have something step on the pedal and uh, it makes it for you but I'm going to do a little workout I guess see how it goes How long has it been since you've been on the welder, Jolene? Quite a while. A month? More than that, she says. What's that, sweetheart? I have your mic off, so that... Ah.
and just make it won't take long it won't take long I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to attach I know how I'm going to attach it the outside perimeter the outside perimeter is going to run all the way around up over the wheel all the way around I'm just going to have to figure out how I want the outside perimeter connected I know I understand I know that it's going to have to be welded to the chassis and the piece come out and weld it to it but I just have to figure out the best way that makes me happy. Tie that down a little bit better so it don't go anywhere. Happy birthday, Gene Winfield. Happy birthday. Now, any six years old inspired me, inspired me to do what I'm doing. I'm sure he's inspired many more. I'm sure of it. Absolutely. Hey. Now that piece that goes like that, if you can picture it, that could be the piece that goes over the top, or that could be the piece that goes from this part around all the way over here to that part. But where we're doing this, I want to see if I can get one to fit a wheel and what it takes to get it there. Don't it, sweetheart? Don't worry about the heat, sweetheart. And the reason I'm telling her not to worry about the heat uh, is because of the thickness of the floor. It's got these ribs that have been in it. The thickness, I think, is probably a 16 gauge, probably. Um, she's what she's doing right now. She's doing. She's filling in between every inch, or a little better than an inch, and she's going every six inches. So the heat is not real big on what she's doing. So um, there's no need for air. We're not doing an outside panel. We are doing a piece in the floor. We do not want the floor warped up and that sort of stuff. But yet, it's thick enough that she should be okay. So no air. No air needed. I couldn't think of anything better to do Sunday with my Queen Jolene than her weld and me bend metal. Let's see what happens. This here is a Texas Auto thing. If you're an American, I think it's for uh, Harbor Freight, I think. I'm going to get a little keyway to tighten that up or a Allen key. Obviously, that could be around here. We also will use the piece of wood to we'll use the piece of wood to bend things, and we also will use um, well the cut met the cut with the grinder method to bend things. We will use it all to make it work. We will use it. All. I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm hoping that I can bend one of these and get it pretty round and then I can cut it in half and where it goes around like that that would be great and then I'll weld another piece on so it sort of goes down down straight a little bit because it's not going to want to go around the wheel um, perfectly I don't think but we'll see Good thick square stock. Hammer's coming out, boys. She's getting serious. 
you serious. We'll have to use a template once we get the cross, we get around the bottom going all the way around. Just telling you what I'm thinking as we get that all the way around connected. When we do this part, we're going to have to make a template so we get them all the same. Who's gonna get done first, me or Jolene? Racing you, Jolene. Racing you. It's already been done before, hasn't it? Right there. Oh well. Put through the seal on the grid, boys! Thanks for coming back and watching. We appreciate it. If you hear any funny noises, I'm just shitting myself trying to turn that. No, nope, don't do that way, he'll take. Don't do that way, he'll take. More I get her turned. Hoping. Jolene's just doing one dot at a time, and she's overlapping every dot by half away, half a distance. So it's like laying a quarter halfway on top of a quarter. So every time she's putting that welder on, she's starting that wire right at the end. So she has a dot like that, she's starting that wire right there. Then it makes a weld halfway on top. Then the next one, she starts right on top again, makes another one halfway on top. That way there you don't you get less the least amount of pinholes as possible. Ooh. I got something going on, baby. I got something going on. Alright, we're gonna back the other way. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, buddy. Kind of wondering if I bring them around almost a touch, if I cut it in half, what it would do. We'll see what happens. But right now, it doesn't. Hey. What's going on? I'm jamming up. 
jamming up. Why am I jamming up? He's locking up tighter than the... Why am I locking up? Jammed up for some reason. Did there helped? Is that our dog barking? I think so. Dog bell's gone off. I'm going to spray that. That work seemed to work pretty good. Whatever I did there, it helped out a bit. So I'm just going to put a little more on it. Ay. not working good here. She's not. She's this one here is How are you making it? Having fun? Good. Welding is fun, isn't it? When you get things geared up and you're ready to rock and roll, welding is fun. Now, that there, if the wheel was that big, um, that would be a nice shape for it right there, but the wheel's a lot smaller than that. See what we get. It would be nice if I get two out of this one. And I'll say that because I only have to do one more and then I'd have all four wheels. But we'll see. I'm going to give them to pretty well touch. Then I'm going to cut it in half and see what I get.
Now, I'm going to take a measuring tape right there for a second. We got that looking pretty good, I guess. If, so if I measure tape across the wheel, tell the height, I guess would be the easiest thing to do. 30 inch wheel. Halfway. Gives me 30, 36 there. So I cut that off, say in the middle. Uh, we are not going right on top of the wheel. We are coming out from the wheel, exact same from the back. So it might look really close to the wheel. We want to get it close to the wheel shape, but the outside perimeter is going to be on the outside of the wheel. So it's not going to be on top of the wheel, so it will take away from the suspension, if you know what I'm trying to say. I can't put square stock. I'm not going to put square stock on top of the wheel. To limit the suspension, I'm going to put the square stock on the outside of the wheel and make it look that far away, and the suspension will be going up inside. So. I'm going to go a little further on this. Talking to myself. Square end doesn't fit on that. No, I don't like that. Kind of squared up. There, let's try that. Hopefully I can cut it in half this time. Any luck at all. What's that, sweetheart? Looks like you're doing a good job. Can't see? There's a rag right here. So we're almost gonna touch. So these are eight feet, so I'll take and measure four feet with a piece of tape, and then I'll put it on my square stock, and then I'll cut it. Now, I've got a place on the end right there. It's pretty near straight. Um, I was not running it all the way through because I was hitting it on the ceiling there. It stopped me now that I've got it bent so far now. I've got a straight thing going on. So what's going to happen is, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a piece of tape on that to tell me how far I went. And, and screwed it down. Just to, approximately. So I'll know for the next piece if this works. So I'm just going to kind of put that on there. If it works, well then I'll do the exact same thing for the next time. So I'm going to pull this bad boy out. Let's pull this bad boy out. Yeah. Loosen her off. Okay. That absolutely probably. Um, just, I'm just going to come back here. 
know if they can see it or not, but it's actually, it worked out pretty good. If I cut it in half, I've got a straight, I've got a, you can see where it's round here, and it's going, it's going straight there, it's going around here, and I've got about the same distance going straight there. So I'm thinking if I cut it in half, and then I weld it a piece of straight on that part, it would give me the length that I need. So it would go around the wheel, and then down straight, not keep cupping the wheel. So, I'm going to measure it where it's straight. I've got a 8 inch piece on that end that's straight. And I've got a 7.5 on that end that's straight. Close. I'm going to measure out a piece of 4 inch tape. And I'm going to wrap it on the end of that. I'm going to go here, draw a line. She's so good boy, she's going to use two helmets. Let me get a four inch or a four foot piece there. So I'm going to cut that and make myself a piece of four inch or four foot long piece of tape to be able to cut that round piece in the center. I'm just going to cut that off. Now, got to be careful of this. You got to be careful, but um, the tape probably could stretch a little bit. I don't want to stretch the tape. I just want to get that four foot piece. Not going to stick where there's undercoating. Now I'm hoping if I cut that, it looks pretty good. If I'm hoping if I cut that right there, then I'd have two, two, two pieces the same. That's what I'm hoping. Should have. Just do it quickly. And it doesn't say that it's the same. Wonder why that is now. We've stretched it. That's why. We've stretched it. I am going to use this one piece um, to make two, I think, and the reason being, yeah, why not? We'll use the two pieces where I've got it marked to where I'm going to cut it off is 33 and a half. So from that corner here up to where I'm cutting it in the center, sorry, where I'm cutting it in the center is, is 33 and a half. We've got a Twenty-nine inch wheel, so that would give us a couple inches. All I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it. Get that piece on there. Put that in the middle. Let's cut that off. So I'm going to cut that in the center. 
and I'm going to make two pieces out of it. Now I'm going to make two pieces out of it. The reason being is, is all this is this is straight on that end. That is straight on that end. So what I'm thinking is I'll use that end for it comes down around and go straight, and then I'll weld a straight piece on this end to do that. End. So I'll have to weld a little bit to it, but I do not care. Uh, I do care, but I don't mind doing that is because I will get the opening that I want. I'll get it. It'll be long enough. I'll get two out of one piece, which is great. I know exactly how to bend, how far to bend the next one because I've got to keep the tape on there. How far to put that down in there. And uh, I'll do the exact same thing with the tape on that end, on that side too. Exact same thing. So the sand, sand blasting will be another day. Get it cleaned up. Did we ever hit some pothole on the highway today? Holy smokes. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you. What a disgusting, absolute, just disgusting how big a pothole we hit today. It was almost like it shoved the wheel right up through me arse hole. <laughs> like it was that bad, wasn't it? Like it was yeah. bad. Like. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's, it's very discouraging for people that um, take pride in their cars is to drive the roads that we have and beat them all to pieces. Ugh. That's Cutter. for the best boys yeah I love it, I love it. that'll work damn right a lot of work all right even if I have to cut it and relief it a couple places to get it in the shape where I need to get it I'm okay with it uh, which wheel would I show they could see I can take the camera huh I can grab the camera We'll just show for a second what we got going on. We cut that one in half. I sat on that wet stool. Did you? Ooh, she got a wet arse. <laughs> Beautiful, looks good, man. Looks real good. So what's going on here is I cut that one in half and I said there was a part there what did not get bent. Uh, right there, it stopped right there. It's kind of straight going on because it went up in the ceiling. That there is, as I set that on there, I can bring that up there. And I'll weld another straight piece on this end, and then we'll we'll have to we'll relief it in a couple places to make that work. So what I'm going to do is very quick like I don't know how quick I'm going to like is, but um, there's, there's a small, I've got a small piece over here. Reason being is is I've got two pieces of the eight foot square stock. That's what I've got two two pieces of eight foot square stock or this one inch square stock, and I'm not going and grabbing anything else. So I've got a piece of that right there along there. That right along there. Markers over there. Cut that off. We'll stick that on the end of that and then we'll try to make something look like we want it to look and then then we'll have one that we have to go by so this is the one we're going to go by I'm gonna cut this piece off We can mo make this. Um, we can make this this ride we're doing as low as we want to. 
And what I mean by that is by how low we want to put this down over. We can make, if you know what I'm trying to tell you, um, this, roll, this, this ride can be uh, six inches from the road. It can be three inches from the road. All we have to do is bring it down as low as we want to bring it. Um, and I might have wanted more, I'm not sure. I just didn't feel like rolling forward. Like maybe, maybe I should have. I want to go back here and check this one. It's hard to tell with the hubcap. That's below the center, below the center. That's fine. Let's weld it on and see what it looks like. I can always add some to it. And I guess too also, I can, I can, what can I do? I can just, after I get one the shape that I need it, and then I will make, everyone else the same. Like the old saying going is, you know, if I have to do it for you, I have to do it for everybody. Now I'm gonna just iron it up. And I'm going and I'm gonna go for it. Good and straight. Now we have a nice gap for good penetration. If it's not straight, you know what to do. Just bang it on the that's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is lay that on there. A marker. Going to try something. I guess it doesn't much matter, but. I'm going to measure each side from the floor. Nine three quarter. That's what I thought. Ten. Ten and a half. So ten and a quarter would be the deal. Quarter is a deal. Find center of the wheel. Where it's not hitting there, not hitting there, and I'm going to guess. Just look in the distance from there, from there, to there, and there, and there. Might want to come over a bit. Put that one out. That's all I'm doing is guessing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that, bring that together, and see what we got. See if I can't make it work. 
so I'm going to take the grinder and I'm going to slice it up through the center take a little bit of meat out of it I'm going to push it together and see if it don't look bad if it don't look bad I'll be happy I should probably take. I'll try that first. That bent very easy. The center of the wheel. actually I think that this needs to be bent a little bit down here this is round here when I bring this up just put it in the center of the wheel I guess somewhat center when I bring that up we want to leave a little gap around there I think I do want to bring that around more than have that look like that and that's the matter of reliefing these and bending those and I think that's fine um, also if I want it a little bit lower then I would, instead of bringing my square stock when I run all the way around, or instead of running my square stock on the face of that, run my square stock underneath of it. So that takes us down another inch. You know, If I want to use tickets down a little bit further, instead of using the one inch square stock, I'll use the two inch by one inch square stock and bring it down two and more inches and run along that edge, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Alrighty. Um, that there is not real straight. Now it could be turned a little bit, it's not real straight on that. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to relieve, I'm going to relieve these two pieces on the end that I have. I'm going to relieve this piece, relieve it a couple times. I'm going to relieve that piece there a couple times. I could even just put on the, uh, on the piece of wood and I can bend that and get that around a little bit. I think maybe the easiest thing to do, this is one inch by a quarter inch for sure. Uh, I think it'd be easier if I just relieved it with the um, grinder. Instead of beating it on that, I can beat it on that. I think it'd be easier. I'm just gonna leave the, leave the two straight ends here.
The only reason I relieved them with the grinder, but I, I just think they're really, it's just quite heavy stuff and those weld it back up. Bed. So I'm gonna pick that up. If I get that same distance all the way around, what I'm gonna, what I want is the same distance all the way around the wheel. And when I pick that up, it doesn't look bad. So I've got, let's pick it up. I'm gonna put something underneath of it right now to check it out. Let's try this. It's not too bad. I feel like I probably could relief it here somewhere, here somewhere, and just bring it in a little bit. And what happens is I just weld those seams back up again, grind it off so it looks good. There's lots of steel there to mess with. Now, I want to actually do it with the back wheel. Let's do it with the back. I want to, I want to, I want to be down past center and it's hard to tell with the hub cap on. I am down past center. Yes, I am. That doesn't look bad, you know. So what I have to do is, it doesn't look too bad. What I have to do is I have to make four of those. So I am going to make, I got one more piece. I'll have to round that. And uh, what I'll do is when I get this all in shape, get it ground off, make it look nice, the best I can, I will plant that on the ground and I will transfer that shape with a marker and then I will make the other ones exactly the same. Uh, it does not matter to me where they're relieved. You know, I can take um, the idea where I relief the other ones and relief the, the same on the other ones, but basically, as um, long as I get the shape exactly the same, it does not matter if I relief, relief them all in the same spot. But I do have something that I can go by um, to make um, the wheel opening. And that's basically the start of it. So you can tell that. So I can show you, but um, until I do it, you won't know. Um, one wheel opening, piece of square stock. So if I have, I have a piece of square stock that's outside, it's two inches by the same width, two inch by inch. And what I can do is I can run that two inch on, on the bottom of that and get me down just a little bit further. And the reason I'm thinking that is just so hard to make them arches. So I may as well um, do what I can to make as low as possible. So I'll go a two inch piece below that. I can go one by three and go down three more inches and go all the way along if I want to. Um, all it does is gonna make it stronger. And what it needs is strength. So, thanks everybody for coming back. We really appreciate it. Uh, Joanne, you done that? Not done. She's not done yet. But anyways, we'll come over and just take a look. Come over and take a look. Absolutely going, going fantastic. Um, that's exactly what you want when you're going on, when you're welding. You want that um, every one of those quarters overlap so you're not getting any uh, pinholes in your in your welds and stuff like that and she's doing a fantastic job you can see by the reflection that there's not much heat going on what I mean by the reflection you see that burnt area over the weld if that reflections out here somewhere you really are getting it hot but the reflection is quite nice um, just like Jolene reflection is nice but she's doing a fantastic job you weld that up salt will grind that off really nice uh, we just put a little self tapper in the center there to bring that nice and tight and right. We're just going to tack that and spot that weld that together there. Where that's got a 90 on this and 90 on the other one, that makes it strong. And we're really going to strengthen it up when we put that parameter all the way around it. 
All right, everybody, thanks for coming back. We much appreciate it. Like, share, comment, come back. We'll be here tomorrow. And listen, I'm telling you, the gear is flying off the shelf. HiltzAutoCo.com. Thank you very much, everybody. Come back tomorrow.